Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure BioChefs. We will learn how to automate your infrastructure with the help of Azure BioChefs. In our last video, we have discussed about Azure ARM template and how Azure ARM template helps you to automate your infrastructure with Azure. Now, we have seen that it's quite easy to maintain or create the infrastructure with ARM templates. But at the same time, if you are trying to develop some of the complex infrastructure or the number of resources in your infrastructure grows, then at some time it's difficult to maintain with the ARM template. And there are some issues we have with the ARM template which I would like to discuss before we understand about the buy shifts. So first of all, like I said, ARM template are written in a JSON and JSON, JSON is not actually a language as such. It's originally developed for the machine to machine communication like you write a APIs to communicate from your user interface to backend and that communication might go via the JSON interaction. So that's where the original intention to use the JSON. But now using the JSON with ARM template, sometimes it becomes complex or verbose to maintain your infrastructure in a JSON format. At the same time, it is also complex and hard to understand the JSON language itself. So if you are not a programmer and if you are writing or if you are trying to automate your infrastructure, then you would require some skill set to understand and learn the JSON. So that will also require some learning curve in order to adopt the ARM structure with the help of JSON itself. With the ARM template, you do have the option for the link template wherein you can template link one template with the other and then you can correlate your entire infrastructure like that. But like I said, it has its own complexity issues which makes it harder to maintain in future once your infrastructure grows. grows. So if somebody is joining new, for them it's going to be really difficult to upgrade to the existing ARM template which is in the JSON. So these are the kind of issues which we had with the ARM template. So what is the solution we have for this, these issues? Well, the this is what we are discussing. So the solution we have or the solution which has been given by Microsoft Azure is BioChefs. So BioChefs is a domain specific language that uses a declarative syntax to deploy Azure resources. So it's not a language as such wherein you can write your own program. It's a layer which has been given to provide support to your ARM template. What do I mean by that? Basically, it's a BioChefs is a syntactual language which you can use to generate the ARM template so that the same ARM template you can use it to provision your infrastructure as code. It could also mean that the with the help of BioShelves you are not replacing the ARM template it's just the abstraction layer of the ARM templates. So you, it means that you don't need to deal with the complex ARM template as such, you have a syntactual language to address. So like I said, you could have a BioShapes instead of JSON develop language. So you don't need to deal with a complex JSON. You have a syntactual programming language BioShapes to deal with your ARM templates. So as we are saying that it reduces the complexity, it means that it has a less syntax and more easy syntax to understand and to write your infrastructure. 
provisioning the infrastructure, you still have to have the ARM template interacting with the Azure Management REST API, which is your control plane. And then control plane obviously will go and provision the resources based on the request which you have written. And at the last point, as I mentioned, it's not a programming language. It's just an abstraction layer which you have to write your infrastructure. We'll look into the details. This is just an example of a biosafe syntax. And you can see the differences with the biases. I can declare a pro parameters with just a single line. And the conversion of this declaration, when it converts into the ARM template, it goes into the couple of lines. So basically, is if if you even though if you are a new to the programming language, you you will let you will get a less difficulty to understand the declaration of some of the parameters in BioShift, whereas it finds hard to learn and to write your own parameters with ARM templates or with the JSON itself. And that's why I said it is going to reduce the efforts to write your infrastructure. And this is just one of the example comparison between these two tools. Let's look at some of the advantages of the Azure biceps. So with the Azure biceps, do you have the support for the various Azure resources? like whatever resource you can write the infrastructure with the ARM templates, the same benefits you have with the biceps with the less efforts. And it also supports various APIs of the same resource. For example, I would like to create a storage account and with the storage account resource itself, I do have the various version of the storage API available which I can use to provision the infrastructure. Imagine the same kind of a support is not available with the tools like Terraform. So that's the difference. Another one or the key difference which we have which is not mentioned here is it as both Microsoft Azure and Biceps are the Microsoft product. So the any upgrades to the Microsoft Azure itself, it's immediately available to the BICEF, whereas comparatively with other tools like Terraform, you do have to wait for availing those upgrades so that you can use it in the Terraform. Next, you have the benefits of the simplicity. It's a lot more easier and simple to automate your infrastructure with biceps. Azure biceps also supports the modules like in Terraform, you create your own module so that you can reuse the infrastructure as code which you have written. Similarly, here with the biceps, it also provides the support to the module so you can re reuse your infrastructure as a code with the help of these modules. Biceps also supports some of the Azure services such as the Azure CLI, Azure policies or the, or the Azure blueprints. So with the help of Azure blueprint, you can integrate or utilize the Azure biceps to provision or replicate your infrastructure again and again. And next uh, benefit we have with the Azure, uh, Azure biceps is it doesn't use any state files. So it's not, so the next benefit we have with Azure biceps, it does not use any state files. What do we mean by that? Like in Terraform, it uses the state file and it checks the target infrastructure between the code you have and the state file versus the target infrastructure and then give you the comparative difference. Whereas with the Azure biceps, when you ask for the differences with the help of Azure CLI deployment command with what if parameters, it checks the difference directly to the target infrastructure rather than having a need of 
state files and that's a cool feature because you do not rely on maintaining those complexity of the infrastructure state files which you would have issues with in the tools like Terraform. So that's again a different advantage which we have with the Azure Bisense. Now, how do I start with the Azure Bisense? Obviously, you would require to install some configuration on your machine where you would like to run the BIOSAFE, such as you need to install the Azure BIOSAFE CLI so that you can run the BIOSAFE CLI commands like build, deploy, BIOSAFE, Azure, Visual Studio Code, all of them are Microsoft tools. So you have the better integration with the tools like Visual Studio tool, which is world's most popular IDE tool to write your code. So you can install the extensions for biceps wherein if you use the biceps with Visual Studio code, you do get the intelligence to write your infrastructure as code. With the help of intelligence, it supports you what are the properties available with the specific resources? What are the default options or allowed options available with those resource types? So those are the kind of helping hands available with that Visual Studio Code extension. That's it about the presentation. Now in the next videos, we will focus with on the biases more to with the demonstration, not with the presentation. This is just to let you know how biceps has been evolving and what are the different capability features available and now it's time to basically utilize our programming skill and learn how to write a code with the biceps how to automate your infrastructure with the biceps and we'll go into the detail in each and every section in the coming video thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and in this particular series i'll be uploading more and more videos on the same biceps topic stay tuned for the upcoming video thanks again